God bless you. This is the prophet, Apostle King Osaini. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to speak in tongues. Wherever you're viewing me from right now, I want you to begin to invite your friends, invite your neighbors, invite everyone around you, invite everyone close to you. Let them know that the hour of a counter has come. This is a moment that God is about to change their lives. And I believe this is a message that is for you. And this is a word from the Lord that you've been waiting for for your life. And right now, as you listen to this word, your life will never remain the same. I want to be preaching briefly on how to speak in tongues of the Holy Ghost. The Bible said in the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 8, it says, And ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. So there is a catalyst, there is, there is, there is an, a, 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 a something that speeds up uh, the reaction, the rate of reaction. There is something that speeds up the manifestation. There is something that when it enters into you, your life will never remain the same. And that is the personality of the Holy Spirit. He is not just a catalyst. He is not just something. But he is a personality. He is a person. Listen to me. He said when you receive the Holy Ghost. And the Bible said in the book of Genesis chapter 1. It said and the Spirit of God was brewing on the surface of the water. And, uh, and, and God said let there be. And the Spirit brought it to be so there is power this spirit is the power of god is the carrier of the dynamis of god this spirit is the powerhouse is the host that supplies the energy for creativity is the host that brings things to happen he is the personality that when he comes into humanity divinity appears to translate humanity to spirituality i this is the personality that can give you a baby without even uh, without even a uh, meeting together as husband and wife the bible said and the angel appeared to mary and said ye shall conceive a baby yes i conceive a child and call his name jesus at that point in time mary said let it be done unto me according as she spoke that word of faith that same personality that brought the light to be that brought the water to be that formed the whole world as god was speaking that same personality entered into mary and transformed her womb listen to me no matter who you are no matter where you are from no matter what you are expecting from god this personality is the answer and the key to deliver to you all your expectations from heaven no matter what you have been praying and fasting for this is the personality that delivers into your hand the capacity for that transformation this is the personality that works wonders this is the personality of the holy spirit when he comes into your humanity your humanity turns into divinity why because he has the capacity capacity to transform everything because when he comes into your life your life will never remain the same and how does the holy spirit comes into your life he comes by you desiring it comes by you yearning and longing and desiring and and pressing and, and and reaching out to him it comes with a passionate desire in your heart the question is are you desiring for a touch right now are you desiring for the holy ghost to transform your life right now are you desiring for a touch from the lord are you ready is your heart in alignment to receiving from the lord you know many people many people don't know uh, what they really want 
many people don't go for what they really want and many people don't care for what is important to deliver what they really want the holy ghost is all you need to change your life and if you can desire it passionately passionately from your heart desire him desire this personality to be made manifest in your life and begin to pray about it begin to ask the lord about it begin to ask the lord for this infilling for this personality for the holy ghost and as, as you keep on asking as you keep on passionately seeking he will impute the holy ghost into you he will fill your life with the holy ghost and trust me your life will never remain the same again he said ye shall receive power after the holy ghost has come right now wherever you are viewing me from from all over the world whether it be from jamaica whether it be from africa whether it be from europe whether it be from us i just want you to begin to speak in tongues right now just begin to declare it right now just begin to pray in the holy ghost right now i see giftings dropping upon you i see the holy ghost dropping upon you I see some persons already now beginning to speak in tongues right now. That gift is unlocking already right now. Just begin to pray. Just begin to declare it. Begin to declare it in your spirit. Begin to declare it. Mante libro contaneo. Eze panatali cosimendo. Peta. Ninta neko supreendo. Kasha kama telebrendo. Begin to declare it right now. God is imputing it into you right now. God is delivering it to you right now your life is trust is transforming right now things are changing right now just begin to receive it begin to declare it begin to declare it i need the holy ghost i receive the holy ghost manteli capario Bele canto zupre kazi zeta mendo kapaleando shakataliko empenana zikratiko tolo mande beeteliko sopre i begin to receive it right now holy ghost holy ghost Holy Ghost, you're welcome. Holy Ghost, impart your people. Holy Ghost, transform their life. Holy Ghost, fill them. Holy Spirit, do what only you can do. In the mighty name of Jesus. And the Bible said in the book of Acts chapter 2, it said, And they were gathered in one, one accord, and they began to pray, and suddenly there was a noise, and the whole house was filled up. And there came rested upon them cloven to cloven tongues of fire and they began to speak in other tongues. Now watch what happened. First of all, there was a noise. Now the issue with people not speaking in tongues is this they believe they have a certain mentality that until God puts the words in your mouth, whatever comes out of your mouth is from your mentality. No that is wrong that's why many people end up doubting many people end up not believing many people end up doubting what they are saying sometimes the holy ghost and then chances them to speak in tongues and when the words start coming out they begin to doubt themselves are these words really from the holy ghost am i really speaking in tongues or am i just speaking tongues no am i just speaking anything that is just coming to my mind right now and as you are doubting the holy ghost you what you are doing is you are resisting the move of god you are resisting the holy ghost for manifesting you are resisting that energy that is imputing into your spirit to turn your 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 humanity into divinity in order for your life to experience transformation so at that point in time you are suppressing it with your doubt and that's what the bible said it said that just shall live by faith it is faith that activates this gift it is faith that activates this dimension faith is the portal that unlocks that dimension for you to assess those revelatory words from the lord so what happens is this he said there was a noise so that means that anyone desiring the gift of the holy spirit must be ready to make noise you must be ready to let words come out of their mouth you don't just close your mouth and expect to speak in tongues you don't just close your mouth and expect that that tongues will begin to fly out of your ears or your lip will just open miraculously and tongues will start flying out 
you have to speak the bible said listen to me there is a revelation i want to reveal right here every time the bible said they spoke in tongues the bible didn't say that the holy spirit spoke in tongues or god spoke in tongues the bible said they spoke in tongues apostle paul said he said i speak in tongues more than ye all more than ye all he spoke that means that you have to speak you have to open your mouth the first step is opening your mouth and begin to speak let there be a noise as you are speaking begin to trust god as you are just speaking pray you can just be praying in, in whatever language you understand and then begin to begin to expect the unexpected as you are beginning to pray just begin to have faith that some things are coming out some things are coming out before you know what is happening something will just pop up on your lips before you know what is happening something will just drop on you sometimes it can drop in your memory like like maybe you're praying lord transform my life lord let there be a new creation in me lord let my life take a new form and then something like libre cante because will just drop on you i am manda capalico so precante like a susa it will just drop on you or drop on your mentality or drop on your spirit or drop on your brain and, and, and that is the world that is the rema that is what god is imputing it to you at that point in time to deliver out of your mouth and what you need to do right there is to take a step of faith and let it come out let it come out let it come out and the second thing when you read the book of Acts chapter 2 they say and they were clothing tongues of fire that means that what does that mean what does fire do fire consumes fire purifies fire separates fire refines so that means that anyone desiring the gift of the holy ghost you need to begin to refine your life what kind of life are you living are you desiring the gift of the holy ghost but every night you're still fornicating that you desiring the gift of the holy ghost but yet you're still still in line with the same mouth you want to pray you are still lying deceiving committing all forms of sin and iniquity uh, 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 engaging in jealousy uh, engaging in anger strife you need to begin to let the fire begin to purify you you need to let the fire begin to manifest in your life begin to take form you need to let the fire rest many people don't allow the fire to rest when the fire comes they, they, they drive the fire away they push the fire away one through unbelief through number two through the lifestyle they live the lifestyle you live matters a lot because it determines the extent of the move of god upon your life so you need to welcome the fire as the fire is dropping on you you need to welcome as the fire is dropping on you you need to encourage it as the fire is dropping on you you need to you need to manifest in that dimension to increase it so as you are believing in god the fire will keep on increasing the fire will keep on increasing until the extent that there will be an outburst it is that outburst that changes things wherever you are viewing me from right now from all over the world whether be it from europe from asia from america from uganda wherever you're viewing me from whether be from nigeria whether be from russia whether whether be from asia malaysia indonesia philippines china wherever you're viewing me from right now it is your hour for a touch from the lord just stretch what your hands right now just begin to ask the lord say fill me with the holy ghost fill me with the gift of tongues i'm tired of doubting i'm tired of living being wasted i'm tired of driving the fire away father help me begin to open your mind right now so your brain tongues are going to drop as your brain things are going to change as your brain god is about to do what only he can do right now just begin to pray mentaliza capeneno supre casa la pata soto me catele casi della 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 capanicuto perende 
begin to receive from the Lord right now. There is an unlocking taking place in the realm of the spirit. There is an unlocking taking place right now. Just begin to receive, begin to receive what God has for you. Begin to receive right now. Begin to receive right now. Receive that miracle. Receive that breakthrough. Receive the gift of speaking the tongue. Receive the Holy Ghost right now. Wherever you are right now, some of you, your hands are vibrating. Your legs are vibrating. Some of you, you're feeling heat on your back. You're feeling heat all over your body. Some of you are feeling a very kind of warm, warm vessels, cold sensation all over you right now. Some of you, you begin, your eyes are opening. You begin to see things in the realm of the spirit. The power of the Holy Ghost is being made manifest right now. Begin to receive it right now. Begin to receive it right now. I release it upon your spirit. I release it upon your life. I decree and I declare from today. Your life will never remain the same. Receive it now in Jesus' mighty name. Wherever you are, write to us. Send us a message. We'd love to pray with you. And visit us on YouTube, on Facebook, on Periscope, and on all social media.